This where it gets crazy. Bill was a fully vicious and bloodthirsty boss. In an attempt to intimidate the government, he ordered the murders of judges, police officers, and prosecutors. On April 30th, 1982, the well-known La Torre was assassinated. And in response, the Italian government dispatched Carlo Alberto Dalla Chiesa, an Italian carabinieri general, to Sicily in May 1982 with orders to exterminate the mafia. However, he himself was a... Yeah, so imagine them killing a prominent judge, prosecutors, politicians, and then sending the military in, and then the head of the military gets killed as well. But it gets a little tricky. In Italy, nothing is whatever it's, is what it seems, especially with Sicily, especially with the mafia. Uh, Delegacia was um, aligned with the Christian Democrats, which kind of had a machizzi with the mafiosi there. But I'll leave it up to you. Assassinated in the city center, along with his wife and driver bodyguard on September 3rd, 1982. After the general's death, a law named after La Torre was passed in reaction to public outrage over the failure to adequately attack the organization Rina led. This became an all-out war between the authorities and mafia. The yeah, he, like Pablo Escobar, and uh, if you haven't seen it, check out Pablo Escobar's wife interview. Uh, it's on the channel. I'll, if I have a chance, I'll drop a link below for that uh, as well. Um, I can't see the comments too well. That's why I'm looking down. I'll get to the comments here in a little bit. Um, so, but Rena was the first to just pretty much take on the actual state, take on the actual government uh, via war. Security agencies were looking for an informant to get the insider news of the mafia to stay one step ahead. The agencies got lucky as they somehow stumbled upon Buscetta. Before him agreeing to become an informant for the agencies, Buscetta, along with his two boys from his first marriage, Benedetto and Antonio, was on the run. While he was hiding, his brother Vincenzo, son-in-law Giuseppe Genova, brother-in-law Pietro, and four nephews all were killed. On October 23rd, yeah, two sons and those four people, what a shame. 3rd, 1983, Buscetta was arrested in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and extradited to... He actually didn't want to roll in the beginning. He actually consumed uh, some cyanide uh, prior to uh, doing so. And by doing so, um, uh, he almost died, but then he eventually lived. Italy on June 28, 1984. It was then that Buscetta requested an interview with anti-mafia judge Giovanni Falcone and thus began his career as a pentito, a.k.a. an informant. Buscetta was the first high-profile Sicilian mafia. Good movie, by the way. That's a movie called The Traitor. Highly recommend it. Also to turn informant. He disclosed that the mafia was a single organization led by a commission implying that the organization's highest tier was implicated in all of the organization's crimes. In the Maxi trial, Buscetta assisted judge... So the Maxi trial was, was, this, you know, was orchestrated by Falcone, Giovanni Falcone, and Paolo Borsellino. We'll get to them in a second. You probably heard their names and what happened to them. So the Maxi trial, it was roughly 475 mafiosi who were on trial. I think 330-something were given sentences. Um, and Rena was on the run and was found guilty in absentia. He worked at a deal with Savo Lima. The, to, Italy has a very long and arduous uh, uh, repeal process or appeal process, and he tried to get him and many other prom, uh, prom, prominent mafiosi sentences either reduced or discarded. Savo Lima either made that promise out of fear or maybe out of hubris, did not come through, and um, that caused a rift between Savo Lima and Rina, and then obviously between these two um, magistrates that you see here. And Borsellino in achieving substantial success in the fight against organized crime, which resulted in the indictment and conviction of 475 mob. With the holidays looming, we know your production schedule. Yeah, that was actually my bad. Pre- it was 475 convicted, not 300. The bombing of train. This is really bad. In an att- so so I'll let it, I'll let it speak. Attempt to divert investigative resources away from Buscetta's crucial disclosures. Rena planned a terrorist-style atrocity in the shape of the Train 904 bombing on December 23, 1984. As a result of this, 17 people were 